with a college? There's a reason for that, but sometimes the kids lose sight of it day in and day out. It just feels like I'm going to high school. But what happens is these students, when they graduate, will get two diplomas. When they cross the stage, they will graduate with a high school diploma from McFadden Technical High School, and they will graduate from McFadden Technical College, the college that adults usually come here for, come here, they pay for it. Our high school students get that exact same post-secondary college education for free. And when they graduate, they have the opportunity to get both of those diplomas. And again, this is our goal for every student, not some, but all of them. Let me explain why that's our goal for every one of our students, because we want them to have multiple choices, regardless of their tech program, when they leave us. So let me give you two examples. Let's say a student wants to go into the medical field. Anyone here interested in the career in medical field? Okay. So um, maybe a student will go through our nursing program, licensed practical nursing. It's a complete adult technical college program. They will get it for free. They graduate from high school, and as long as they're 18 and they pass the national licensure exam, they are graduating from high school as a licensed practical nurse. And if they want to go straight to work, they can do that. Maybe they don't ever want to go to college. Maybe they want to go, but they want to take some time off. Maybe they want to earn some money before they go off to college. So they can graduate, and as an 18-year-old high school graduate, be making $35,000 a year, first year as a licensed practical nurse. That's about starting salary in Florida right down the road yet. But maybe they don't want to stop there. Maybe they do want to go to college. Maybe they want to be a doctor or a registered nurse. They're going to go into college because you need a bachelor's degree and in some cases you need to go to med school. So they've got more college ahead of them. But they have two huge advantages. Number one, if they would like to make some money while they're in college, they don't have to go to work at a college bookstore or at a local fast food restaurant. They can work as a licensed nurse making $20 an hour while still in college. And academically, intellectually, think of what it's like to be a freshman in college, but already be a licensed nurse. They've spent two years working with real patients in hospitals. Think of the academic knowledge that they have that puts them leaps and bounds ahead of other students who are freshmen in college. I'm reminded of um, one of our graduates who went on to med school and she was in the, in the Northeast and she was she had an opportunity. I was not into the medical field, I was an English teacher. She had an opportunity as a freshman in college to observe a um, no autopsy, thank you. Brain, 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 an autopsy. She was very excited about it. I would not. And there were other students in the room who were med school students. So they were they were several years ahead of her. And when they heard she was a freshman in college, they were laughing. You're not going to handle this. So she's observing the autopsy, and she hears a thump. You know where I'm going with this. And she looks to her left at one of those med school students who looked down their nose at this freshman had passed out on the floor. She had her own school year before. So that's one example. Or let's take well then. You could go through our welding program, graduate, and welders who are good even right out of school, beginning welders, can make twenty dollars an hour, forty, thirty-five, forty thousand dollars a year. So again. 18 year old high school graduate, you could be a welder making that kind of money right out of high school. Or you could be like our graduate, Brittany, who her goal was to be a rocket scientist, a literal rocket scientist. So she said, What better way to learn how to design spacecraft than to work with metal? So we, she went through our welding program, and after graduating from our welding program in our high school, she went on to the University of Florida. She now has her PhD, and she has worked for NASA and SpaceX, and yes, has literally designed spacecraft. Those examples are similar no matter what your program. So you can go through our drafting program, go right out of high school and go to work in a local field as a draft person, or you can go on to become an architect. You can go through our auto service program and graduate and go right to work repairing cars in a local dealership, or you can go on and work to be an engineer. Whatever your career path you choose, by having both this rigorous college academic school preparation 
and the career preparation, it gives each of our students that choice for whatever path makes most sense for them. And we think it's a great, it's a great opportunity. Now that said, I will also tell you this. I am the first person to say to people, we are not ready for everyone. And we know that. And the reason we're not ready for everyone is because we are small, so we can't offer everything that you see in a school that has 2,500 students. And we have a very specific mission. So because we're smaller, we have to eliminate things that don't help serve our mission. So for example, we don't have a marching band. We don't say there's anything wrong with marching band. We just don't have room for it in the curriculum. We have sports clubs, but we don't have a football team. We have one foreign language. None of those things are to criticize the schools that have those other things, but we are here to fulfill a specific mission, and so we have to eliminate things that don't help get us there. But it does mean we know we're not right for everyone, and we're okay with that. The question is, are we right for you? And the answer is going to be different from family to family, and that's why we're so thrilled that you took the time to come out tonight, learn about the tech programs, understand a little bit about what we do, um, why we exist, and how we help to get students to where they want to be. Pre-COVID, I call them the before times. One of the things I got to do as a principal was I had lunch with all of the seniors in small groups, five or six seniors at a time, once a week, so that over the course of the whole year, I had eaten lunch with every single senior. And I asked them all kinds of questions. What did you really like about your experience at McFadden? What can we get better at? Uh, what, what class was your favorite and why? What class was your least favorite and why? One of the questions I always ask is, what's the best thing about McFadden? So I did this for 10 years, 150 seniors a year, so I heard a lot of answers to that question. But three answers came up more often than any others. The three questions, the answers that are most popular in answering what's the best thing about McFadden? Number one, the food. And they're not kidding. When you go to high school on a campus that has a full culinary program, our students are trained to be chefs, and then that food is put on sale at high school lunch, the high school lunch is pretty good. Second thing, what's the best thing about McFadden? Access to the technical programs. The students understand that coming to a high school that is linked with a technical college gets them a very rare opportunity that very few high school students have an opportunity to access. And so they really recognize the head start that's giving them on whatever their goals are. And the third most common answer to that question is, it's a small school where I am known and people care about me. We have only 600 students, 150 per grade level, one counselor per grade level. So the counselor will start with 159 grade students and will stay with them for all four years. So the guidance counselor gets to know the student, the family, the dog, all your goals for after high school, and they help provide that individual support and assistance that student needs. 150 students in ninth grade, we have one ninth grade English teacher. So that ninth grade English teacher gets to know all of the students. Most of us on the support staff get to know the students as well. And so what they would say to me over and over again is, I'm not invisible, I know people care about me, and they'll do everything they can to help me be successful. And as you can probably imagine, I can't really get, I have the version of too, I get choked up. But as a principal, hearing students say that, I'm at a school where people care about me, they know me, they're gonna do what they can to help me be successful. It, it reminds me that what we do is the biggest blessing in the world. And seeing that the students value that and understand that we are delivering on what we are hoping to deliver on is so rewarding to all of us. So I would say to you, I don't know if we're right for you. Only you and your family can decide that. But I can make you this promise. If you decide that, you, that we are right for you, I can promise you that what you will find in the staff that you found is a staff that is absolutely committed to making sure you never regret that decision. Absolutely committed to making sure that in four years when you cross that stage and get your two diplomas, you say to yourselves, we made the right decision because it is what we are absolutely completely dedicated to. With that, I do want to introduce a few people who are in the room. Most of the staff is on the main part of the mall, but we have a few who are in here. So I mentioned I'm the director or the principal. I have the very good fortune of having three assistant directors or three assistant principals here on the campus. Two of them work prim 
primarily with our technical programs, our post-secondary programs, which means the adults see them a lot, and the high school students see them maybe out at lunch or changing classes, and certainly when they go into the tech programs. So one of those assistant directors is Mr. Larry Rothman. The paper guy, absolutely. Hello everyone and welcome to McFire Technical College and Technical High School. I'm Anna East. And I'm Kyle. We're members of the Television Production Technology Program here at McFadder. We are proud to present you this special presentation of our weekly show, The Eye. Though this college has been around a lot longer, McFadder Technical High School opened our doors in the fall of 1998. We are a whole school magnet, which means every high school student enrolled full-time at McFadder is a magnet student and has to go through the Broward County School District magnet application process. McFadder is a small school with an A rating from the Florida Department of Education and K-12 niche. Our high school has 150 students at the most per grade and each graduating class has their own school counselor. We also have a full-time advisor to help with individualized post-secondary planning. In case you were wondering, we are part of the Broward County public school system, so we do follow the same student code of conduct as every other school and have the same resources available to us. Transportation is one of those resources McFadden Technical High School students who live at least two miles away from the campus and south of Sunrise Boulevard will receive transportation. They must also live north of the Miami-Dade County line to get assigned a bus. People often ask if McFadden Technical High School students have to wear uniforms. We are not a uniform school, but in some technical programs, the industry requires it for professionalism or safety. In those cases, we provide one to each student at no cost to the family. McFadden's Magnet High School uses the college format block schedule. Our 4x4 block classes last for 90 minutes each in academics and three hours for technical programs. Because of the straight 4x4 schedule, students take the same four classes every day for one semester and get four new classes for the second semester. 
Students are able to earn eight credits per year at McFadder, allowing them to be head of many other schools with at least 32 high school credits when applying for college. This adds to their competitiveness. Students who come in with high school credits from middle school are scheduled to take extra classes to make their transcripts stronger for their post-secondary plan. While at McFadder, each student takes four years of honors or advanced placement in English, math, science, and social studies, and two years of Spanish. Because our school is small in size, we are only able to offer one foreign language. Technical programs in the junior and senior year are all taught at the college level. We ride the school buses with Nova students, so our school day begins at 9.15 and ends at 4.10. That means not having to wait to catch a bus in the dark in the morning. Most students do not have to be at their bus stop before 8 a.m. The leadership team at McFire Technical High School has designed the curriculum with university acceptance in mind. The philosophy here is that all students can succeed at a high level in both academic and technical areas. We have lots of opportunity for help if you need it. The high school students graduate with all credits and skills needed to enter the university system. All academics are taught at the honors or advanced placement level. The rigorous curriculum helps to prepare students for their next step in education. All of the courses within the technical programs are taught at the college level. Students here are given a lot of opportunities. We actually graduate from both McFadder Technical High School and McFadder Technical College. We get two diplomas here. McFadder graduates leave with all credits and skill needed to enter the university system. That's right. McFadder students have three great opportunities after graduation. They're university ready, workforce ready, and life ready. That means that we all have the potential to enter into college, have industry certifications and technical certificates, and have been prepared for what life brings us next. McFarrow Technical College even has an agreement with Broward College to get a head start toward a degree. That is a big college saving opportunity. Student schedules here are heavier in the area of academics in their freshman and sophomore years to allow for room in the schedule for technical program courses in the junior and senior years. These programs teach the, to industry standards and lead to industry certification. There is extensive exploration through career research, emerging technology in business, and Tech 2 classes in 9th and 10th grade to assist students in deciding the technical program that is best fit for 11th and 12th grade. Students are duly enrolled in the technical programs. That means they get the weighted credit for each technical class equal to an advanced placement course as in taught in the college level. McFadder students graduate from both high school and technical college in 12th grade. In each technical program, seniors are required to give a presentation called their senior exhibition. This is an opportunity for our students to show industry professionals their knowledge in the field of study. Also, McFadder students are able to choose to participate in nationally recognized competitions like SkillsUSA or Business Professionals of America. Here are some of the tech programs we offer at McFadder. Our school does have some traditional high school activities like spirit weeks, class field trips, homecoming, prom, and grad bash. We do not have traditional high school sports, but we offer alternatives to students interested in playing. As for clubs, we have a lot of options for students. We have a very active student government and offer a variety of class and club activities. Some of our popular organizations on campus are the Key Club, Anime Club, National Honor Society, and Dance Team. At McFadder, we try to have something for everyone. People often ask how they can come to McFadder. Since we are only a magnet school, all applications and any required supporting documents must be processed through the Broward School's Demographics Office. It is especially important for charter and private school students to send any grades and test scores to the email address or fax number provided in the receipt confirmation for application submitted. 
We cannot enter the data, so it is important that information for all applications go through them. Applications can be submitted online at www.bradschools.com slash school choice. The best internet browser to use is Google Chrome. The admission criteria is a minimum grade point average of 2.5 in the academic classes and level 3 on FSA reading and math. Students who took math at the end of course exam last year must have a level 3 on that to be eligible. If we receive more eligible applicants than we have available seats, the Broward Schools Demographics Office will notify us of the students who are awarded the spots in the random selection process. Students who are awarded a seat will have a limited amount of time to claim it and register at the school. Random selections will take place until all seats are filled. Being awarded a seat does not guarantee transportation to McFadder. We've talked a lot about McFadder, but I think you should hear what current students have to say about what makes McFadder so great. Hi, I'm Allison and this is Men on the Street. Today we walked through McFadder campus and asked the students why they decided to enroll and what's the best part about it. Let's go see it. Um, I think one of the best parts is most definitely the food. Uh, the food. The food? Okay. The food. Um, me double patties and the triple patties fun. Me favorite's the patty free patty. Me definitely how quiet it is and how comfortable it is to be at this school because there isn't a lot of people. So like all the people here like we're really friendly and it's also because it's such a small school that like everyone knows each other and it's just a really friendly environment in general. Aww. Why did you choose to enroll in McFadder? I wanted to get better at editing and my homeschool Western doesn't have any TV production or editing programs. They ask you how you are and you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. But you just well, my parents told me that they really wanted me to come to this school so I was like, all right, I'll go. And it ended up working really well for me. I chose to enroll here because my mom told me it was a good school and I also learned that I could also get college credit here and so I thought, you know, like why not, you know. Because I thought this gave me the best educational opportunities possible. For the legal part of the business program. What is the McFadder mascot? The McFadder mascot is the storm. It's the storm! That's all for today. Thanks so much for watching. Remember to follow us on Twitter and Instagram at Fire TV. And check out our website at www.mcfiretvpro.com for other MTC TV productions. From all of us here at McFire Television, have a great day! I wanted to take a moment and make you a quick video tour of our campus, beginning with this area where the buses come in in the mornings and leave in the afternoon. This is our communication and IT department, which houses not only our programs, but also our career center where students can get help with job placement after graduating. We have our applied cybersecurity class and our network support services class. And then we have digital printing technology and printing graphic communications. classroom is a digital media multimedia design classroom where students not only learn some web, they also do sound and video production as well as some photography. This is our actual photography classroom where students learn big studio, small studio, and Photoshop and InDesign. Next 
area that I will be going to will be the cafeteria and the professional culinary arts and hospitality classroom. In the cafeteria, this is where our students produce food and serve it to our public under normal conditions. At this time, it is closed. This is our professional kitchen where our professional culinary arts and hospitality students master their craft. The next area is our medical department, where students laboratory technology, medical assisting, optometric assisting, pharmacy technician, EKG tech, patient care tech, or practical nursing. The first classroom area is the pharmacy tech lab, where students have an opportunity to learn how to dispense medications and learn a little compounding. area is our simulation lab area where students have an opportunity to work in a hospital-like setting and to do some high-tech simulations using our computer dummies. In our dental laboratory technology class, Students do not touch patients. This is the area of dental where you learn to fabricate prosthetics. In our optometric assisting class, not only do students learn how to aid the optometrist in the office environment, but they also learn how to schedule and book appointments and to maintain the clients in the space, as well as the dispensary where we size and test out glasses for patients. Our next building is our high school building. And as you'll see, we have arrows to indicate that you must travel in one direction so that we are following social distancing guidelines. We'll also notice in these classrooms that you will see the markings to indicate that students will stay six feet apart. Hello everyone, this is Mr. Tipping, welcoming you to one of our math classrooms here at McFadder Technical High School. I look forward to you and hope to see you all here very soon. classroom you can better see how we have marked the boxes to indicate students are not to sit next to each other so that we can keep everyone safe and as we leave the high school building we go into the industrial building our first program within here is the drafting program and I'm the drafting instructor here at McFadder Technical College and High School. Um, this is my classroom. Um, as you can tell, we are uh, devoid of computers and so on because we are virtual online and all my students have their computers. What we do here in this class is we basically teach the language that's used to communicate um, how to build or how to manufacture any item that you, know, you use or you live in or you drive through and so on. So there are a variety of other programs within this building, including a couple of high school classrooms, but we have auto collision, marine service technology, electricity,
folding classroom. are over here the first one is the gym what's up guys this is coach Sylvanic coming to you live from McFadder's gymnasium this is where we'll be conducting our exercises and getting into decent shape I look forward to seeing you guys here in class and, uh, and working out have a good day And this is our weight room. Next stop across this parking lot will be our TV production classroom, which is housed in the Burbs Bacon Building. As you'll see, they learn all aspects of production. So that's us.